Hello and welcome to the preview of a very, very thick card at Rose Hill Gardens. Mark Lamborn, Matt Taylor, hello there. G'day, how are we? G'day, g'day. Um, yeah, fresh sort of autumn morning, but... Uh, yes, it is changing, isn't it, Mark? A little bit of coolness in the air. Yeah, but it gets hot enough uh, during the day, and uh, mm. that will be uh, tomorrow as well. Uh, we're shaping up for the final day of the Rose Hill <laughs> Carnival. I noticed that the... The billboard's changed already. Has it? Like, I don't know, you probably haven't seen that. There's a billboard that I've been watching on Victoria Road, and it was the new breed. Which yeah. Was the gold and which nobody really got. <laughs> yeah. The new breed, but this week it changed to the championships. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. All right, well, beautiful. They're coming next week, but this is a good card, Mark. We had a. A bit of a downpour during the week, uh, I think what 20 to 30 mils fell at Rose Hill, but it was similar to what it was a few weeks ago, well, yeah, even though... A day earlier. Yeah, exactly. A day earlier, but a couple of weeks later, so, yeah. um, you know, we're looking at a similar situation where the track will be described as whatever good is these days, mm. um, so Jar just out of it, uh, four metre position, which sort of, you want sort of middle barriers, horses coming through, you don't want to go round, you don't want to be on the other side. No, exactly. I think, um, you know, obviously we speak a lot about the lanes and everything. Um, I have a feeling that Saturday, where it's normally um, not much good, the fast lane there, and same out wide to what it was inside. I think out wide was probably inferior to what it was the inside. The lane, lane was on fire. Oh, yeah. Um, but I think outside was probably worse. It may have been more as much to do with the horses that were hitting the outside lane were doing it from being wide, but it didn't seem to be the place to be. So I think that that one metre to what is it? So one to four metres off the off the fence is going to be pretty serious on Saturday, I'd say. Hmm, it's a channel. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and what do we say? Three, a good, uh, well, three to four, good three to four, whatever that means. Like, just don't listen to them, honestly. Yeah. It's just like. No, I'm still. Um, uh, Worry Farm was heavy, apparently. Mm. Uh, I mean, I just ignored it. Um, the horses seemed to run reasonably well. You know, they, it, it didn't race like one of those heavy tracks where horses disappear and you go, "Oh, that's what's happened." Yeah, it's just, it's, they just, they just make shit up. Yeah, exactly. But we're saying, we're saying somewhere between three and four, yeah. three, three to four. It's beautiful. All right, let's get straight into it then. Um, before we do, uh, huge promo again. Um, Matt, we've got uh, a new bookmaker that we're uh, having a bit of a, a crack with called Mad Bookie. Mad Tell us Bookie about that. Boys. Yeah, no, the Mad Bookie boys, I mean, up, sort of up for a while I've been watching yeah. them, but um, yeah, now they're sort of ready to start launching a few partnerships. So obviously they've got their their whole back end all sorted, good, ready to go, fixed odds, top tote, the option, and um, yeah, they've joined up with us for this week with the, uh, the $69 RSP mounting yard, mounting yard dollar uh, mail promo. Yep, and they'll throw in a sixty nine dollar free bet. Lovely, cool, and that's on top of also there's a two hundred and fifty dollar up to two hundred and fifty dollar dollar for dollar sign up bonus. Is First that correct? Deposit bonus. Yep. Yeah, so. Okay, so so you get the normal deposit bonus. Uh, so just sign up. You've got to go through the site obviously to be registered to get our stuff. So two hundred and fifty dollar sign up bonus. Click through the links for that. And then also too, you get your mounting yard mail and race speed profile package, which is already at a hugely discounted rate of $69 for free because you get a $69 free rebate on top of that. It's very easy, isn't it? It's a good deal. And uh, look, I noticed their prices are original prices. They're not scraping from everyone. So the Mad Bookies is another one you should have to your repertoire. Absolutely. Where can I find the Mad Bookie? It's just madbookie.com.au. But click through the links on the Punish Show site. Wow. Perfect. It's Mm. Lovely. So give them a go. Um, you know, like we talk about bet limits, and then I was talking about the boys, and they said they've been trying not to restrict anybody, and they're having a go. And obviously, you know, as, as business has changed, that might well change. But at the moment, they've they're really, really having a go and trying to yeah. manage clients rather than do that. But the more people like this in in the world, the better it is. And you talk about limits, and you talk about all the things that have been put in it. Well, if the racing industry got its act together and actually promoted gambling or promoted wagering a little bit better. Mm. Well, we would have a marketplace where you would be able to bet more. Well, you'd also see a marketplace uh, that doesn't have people walking through it where, you know, drinking, you know, beer or champagne yeah, exactly or whatever. Right. I mean, yeah. it, it, it's just it's just ludicrous to think that, you know, we're we're trading in this way. <laughs> exactly right. Exactly right. So, I oh, was there, there any thought that I had during the week. It's, it's, I mean, obviously the corporates are going to squeeze everything they possibly can, and that's the nature of business. But if we did have a better wagering 
wagering system and a wagering uh, marketplace, well, then they wouldn't have to squeeze it as hard as it is. So again, come back to the administrators, why not? Beautiful. Anyway, uh, that's more for the punish show. So jump on board with this special offer. You get your $69, $69 mounting yard mail and race speed profile, which you get rebated through Mad Bookie. Plus, just sign up with Mad Bookie. If you don't want to do that, sign up with Mad Bookie. Anyway, give them a go and let us know how you people say, oh, they're yeah. going to do this, they're going to do that. Please. The easiest way to find out is to sign up, give them a go, let us know how they go and you go yeah. from there. You yeah. know, it's, it's not going to hurt you. Exactly right. Give it a go. Race one is the Schwepp of Essence Quality, otherwise known as the Bell U, 1400 metres. Uh, Pasadena Girl is a scratching right now, so these markets will change. It was exactly. takedown, and takedown's also in the Wellington boot. Dual nominator, yeah. Yeah, okay, great. So, right. Okay. The first black opal winner that's gone to the boot. Oh, it's the old, the big double, isn't it? Uh, here we go. Okay, all right. Well, so these markets mean really not much. No. Um, anything happening, Matt? No, and in regards to movers, I sort of can't really put my finger on anything particularly. A couple of dollars here and there out wide, but they've just been obliterated with uh, the scratching. Yes. So. All right, Mark. Okay, who does what? You know, we'll take down Leeds if he's not at Wellington. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, he's, <laughs> you know, he's been in the fray at 1, 1,100, 1,200, now gets to 1,400 on his home track. Uh, Lighthouse Keeper will be handy enough uh, underneath them. Street Rapper um, also handy. And in a circle, uh, I'm not sure what James wants to do there, but um, we'll probably push forward to get into a position. Uh, down underneath them, Wolf Cry. Uh, Italy, if it jumps uh, for its another different rider, <laughs> uh, midfield, and um, the others can sort themselves out. Mm -hmm. Alright, lovely. Uh, obviously a bit of change with Pasadena Girl coming out. Uh, any clear thoughts on this race at all, Mark? Yeah, well, look, the horse that I picked out to like, I noticed it's been you know, well, well found by the marketplace, and I'm thinking, wow, Delawar, um, first starter for Snowden, really stretched his neck out at Kembla. Mm to get over the top of uh, the much shorter Lighthouse Keeper who comes home here tomorrow. And there was a few ways you could look at Delaware. I mean, that was a Monday meeting at Kembla, so it was just an off meeting. And the rail was out a long way and the fence was probably okay. And I'm thinking, okay, was it advantaged by the fence? But then I'm looking at it like not really traveling on the fence, mm. thinking this horse wants open spaces. And yep. it's, you know, it's, just, it's a horse that's gonna improve sharply. The big bugger. Big, that's right, big bugger. Big bugger. Um, and he'd shown improvement throughout his trials. So there's some, some, some sluggishness there, but um, anyway, he's, uh, he's the horse that caught my eye in this race. Uh, three in a circle. Started favourite in a slipper lead up. That's never a very good recipe for this race, but um, retains James McDonald and uh, sort of a golden switch in, in alleys. Yeah. You know, it's, it, there's, there's something there in that alley change. Golden switch, but then possibly problematical if you are wide at Rose Hill. And, and he unless you're Vancouver, it doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, um, three in a circle. Ten street wrapper. Um, as a run there with Wolf Cry, which shouldn't enable it, but uh, went like a bomb in uh, potentially the worst ground at Wyong. And for Wolf Cry, who um, is restarting with blinkers on and gate yeah. one. Five, three, ten, four. One and a half units on, they make it two units on Delaware and one and a half units on Street Rapper. Big, big play, Wolf Cry, third up, Blink is on, Snowden. It's uh, third up, second prep, I should say, Blink is on. It's mm. not a bad play. Mm. Anyway, uh, I've, um, yeah, I've really, I didn't really have a lot to offer in the race. I, I would have, with Pasadena Girl in the race, as a horse that we've had a really good opinion on, but it seemed to have a few problems there Polarizing for the price. play. Yeah, it seemed like, and it uh, might have provided a bit of value there, even though it was a horse I didn't really want to oppose all that much because I think she's highly talented, but. Mm did seem to have a few issues there. But anyway, Matt, I've got nothing really much to offer. Uh, we need Ronnie. Ah, oh. yeah, Ronnie does it. Uh, like the, the horse with the sense of timing. Sense of timing. Well, the sense of timing is Wolfguy third up. And he still does have the line that has now proven to be the line that we spoke of, we speaking about for six Where months. Where is Sabu? The Vancouver line. Yeah, exactly. Sabu's back at the trials. Yeah, apparently he tried well. Yeah, yeah cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a unit on Wolf Cry uh, for those reasons. I think that the run in the haptic race is sort of happy to forgive the Warwick Farm race. It's a small you do track, have to forgive it because it was up. so common. Yeah. I thought. And um, yeah, so I have a unit there. I have a unit on mine too. 
Yes. It presents yeah. okay it does. jockey it, change. It does, yeah. I mean, I know it had collet last start, but yeah. you keep looking back. It was in great form, but it did have Claire mm. Nutman on it every run last time. Yeah. yeah. So it's, and look, yeah. it's, um, oh, hello. There you go. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, look, branching out. Beaten not far by English. So, so you can only improve off that run, you'd assume. 1400 is a whole mm. new beast. And one unit, Cartier Rock. Can, can I, you just mentioned that 1400, can I just make the point of 1400 metres is almost a staying test for these horses. Mm. Bar, so you're one of your greatest pearls of all time, the st you know, staying horses saving ground. Barrier one may not be a, may not be a, a may be a big help for Wolf Cry too. Yeah. Saving ground, saving ground, saving ground. Yeah, cool. exactly. And yeah, obviously Wolf Cry had that Vancouver form going back. And I said one unit, Cartier Rock, who seemed to be a different horse with blinkers on. Uh, that second start. Beautiful. All right, we'll move to race two. But before we do, just make a quick point here about Melbourne today. Hopefully, we're up in time for this. Um, basically, we've got the dual meetings: Mooney Valley tonight, Matt. Mornington tomorrow. Yep. Race speed profiles is pretty much a 50-50. Darren's pretty much a 50-50. Warren's going to be at both places. So uh, Warren Huntley, you can get the Mounting Yard Mail tonight in full and also at Mornington in full. Yeah. Um, but the best way to handle it is to get it now, so you get the good value. Basically, you get a two for one. Uh, we've the race speed profiles are online now. It's a good good betting card tonight. I mean, it's, it it's good. Bit, yeah. You know, we some races are low confidence, but other races are pretty high confidence. So that's that's ready to go. Darren's stuff will be online when you see this, obviously as well too. So I think he's doing mil he's doing pretty much full tonight. Full tonight. And then you get the bone. Yes, yeah, so you get the, the bonus Mornington. of Mornington for free. So basically. It's the same normal unit price for tonight for race speed profiles, yeah. tonight for Darren stuff, and you can get Warren's for 55 bucks for the two if you want the two, and $33 individually. So jump on board now to get tonight as well as tomorrow, and tomorrow will be again sort of like a, uh, uh, all the race, we're covering all the races for both places for the race speed profiles, but um, zoning in on the four main ones of both places for the full commentary, but the other ones have got yeah. most advantage, least advantage, and sort of a bit of our overview of them. Yeah, it's, oh, it's a big double. It it's is. It's a big double, yeah. A cup, if you buy tonight, you basically get some freebies for tomorrow. Yeah, you do, you the do. And then, and if, you, and if you just want tomorrow, then we've got them, yeah. got them at a reduced cost for you tomorrow for the, um, for Darren's and whatever. So, so yeah, jump on. It's, yeah, good group one race tonight in, in name, but whatever. Yes, yeah, but it's good, it's good racing. Good <laughs> racing tonight. And, uh, yeah, so there it is. That's Melbourne. And, uh, Darren's been flying down there, obviously. Of course, he just continues to fly, doesn't he? Fucking hell. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> the man in pots we trust. So yeah, uh, don't miss him. Yeah. Jump on board. That's Melbourne. That's how we're handling it this week. The races.com.au is the next race over 1400 metres. And it sees uh, Frespinol favourite around the $5 mark. Medcourt 650. Oh no, sorry, the favourite is sure and fast at about $4.25. Yeah. Matt. Best back uh, was Frespinol. Uh, six dollars an hour into five. So that's sort of the big, the main go uh, of the race. But dense race, I found it. Mm. Um, I had um, uh, Laohu. Um, plenty of waves. Wide draw. Plenty of waves in front, isn't there too? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Beauty, Beauty's beast to be on speed, for, uh, fresh up. Uh, Agamore on speed. Boss Lane's up from eleven to fourteen. Yeah. You know, he won't be far away. Uh, and then. Uh, Corey Vrecken in probably in the wheelchair. Zinzan Eddie handy, Medcourt handy, and you know, we're, we're, I'm a bit sick of you know deciding whether Frespinol is going to be on pace or off pace. And yeah, it's, a, it's one of those. Um, Seems that Tommy's been banished from it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, he'll be midfield field Frespinol with the favourite sure and fast. Also, Reese out back, uh, Hollywood bound out back, bold circle cross at gold. Um, Yes, not a lot from me here. Uh, one Beauty's Beast resumes here and has won his only two Sydney races. I don't know why that is, but um, he did a good job actually to win before spelling. Yeah, yeah. Um, 14 sure and fast. Uh, just, just on it though, I mean, you know, I mean, we, we obviously talk about a lot of things here that other people don't, but the Danny O'Brien stable at the moment has to be, you know, well, he's, is, he, is he leading the leading the charge of the positives at the moment or? Oh, does he registered the Oh, I think he. I think he. Is he number one? I think he's number one. So on the this hit. is cobalt well, out, is it? Well, he seems to. Uh, it, like every, realize, every, every I morning, realize, seems I realise that this Kavanaugh is cobalt out. Yes. Right. I yes. get that. So, D. O'Brien has he trained oh, any winners in Melbourne? I don't, I don't know, Matt. It doesn't doesn't seem to be. Does it? well, it's you know he's he's one of the main ones that seem Not to many, be. Not many. Yeah, he's one of the main ones that seem to be. 
having the, you know, every day, oh, another couple from Danny and Brian, here we go, yeah. another couple. I, I haven't heard of a jump out or anything for this horse, so I yeah. have to track that down. Anyway. Interesting. Anyway, Beauty's Beast has, uh, has won his only two Sydney starts, and um, I have him on top of 14 sure and fast, who I found strongly at Wyong, it was a beautiful race for him. Mm. He did the job beautifully. Mm. Uh, a three-year-old with a little bit of scope, but um, once again has been tailored yeah. by the market. Oh, I mean, like, for those that don't understand why on Mark, we know that we've, you know, normally it's, and why you get such a handle on it with your stuff, is that there's two ways of being why on rail, rail through, you're down the outside, rail, rail out, you're on the inside yeah. now. And that was that was the typical perfect setup why on win, which you can't, I mean, you, you can only do what you can do, yeah. but it, you've got to be a bit... Yeah, well, it's, it's flattering. Yeah, that thing's going for it. Yeah, yeah exactly. And a lot going for it. Uh, four, Zinzan Eddy has uh, raced consistently for a while and gets B Shin back on board. Uh, Winker's off, Winker's on. And seven, for Espanol, who, um, you know, I've sort of... I think I'm, he's got something, doesn't he? Well, he's got something, but I, I... Look, when he resumed at 1400 at Kensington on a public holiday last time in, and it was a good win, he was coming off a 1300 metre... Uh, race where he showed speed. Mm. This time he's coming off a 1500 meter race at Rose Hill mm. where he didn't show any speed. So yeah. I, uh, he, I, he, was, he was buggered up though, wasn't he? And it, but sometimes those bugger up preparations, they they struggle to recalibrate, don't they? I, I, I'm not convinced, but yeah. I, I, but I, 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 you know, I, I, I'm sitting on the fence. Probably. Yeah, yeah. I'm 114, 47. I can have two units on sure and fast just for the sake of a bit. Yeah, lovely. I'm. Um, yeah, I'm on the fence. I, I, as I said, I think Freshman I might have something, but I just, yeah, I just don't, don't know, don't know. Uh, I thought Hollywood bound. It might run last, but it seemed big odds to me. It was airborne there for a while last prep. Yeah. Um, and it just seemed, it seemed the one that was a, a big odds. A lot of horses, yeah, I do notice a lot of horses, their, their little run seems to coincide with a person like uh, a, a postillion by the name of Jay McDonald riding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a fair call, isn't it? Yeah, so... And, okay, uh, and our oh, mate. Jay McDonald got on there. Yeah. Oh, right. That's, course, that's what happened. Gee. Yeah. G Boss is on from Barrier 1. Probably, maybe Glenn might might be better for the run last week. But uh, anyway, uh, no, look, I'm not going to back it, but I just thought it was in my markets, it was one that I had more towards the top of the market than the bottom. So, yeah. yeah. This clean off. Yeah, and, yeah. And, but then again, Walla, I don't know if I want to be overly, you know, do I, do, the horse probably needs to come back to where it was. The Walla horses generally are uh, running okay. below where they were. Yeah, I I'll be having some units on it. It's, okay. And at the trials, it's um, units, units, units. Multiple. You probably don't need units. No, I'll have. To, I'm trying to blast out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, two Hasn't units, been a good month. Two units Hollywood bound. Um, unusual Walla trial. Sort of both of them, I think, has been up on pace and and uh, yeah real good fitness test and look the form does tie in okay around um, I think Frespinol mm. going back so um, yeah look I'm happy to have a couple there I'll have two on Frespinol and also one on Beauty's Feast all right there it is that's race two race three moving along the Highland race colors Doncaster Prelude over 1500 meters sees Rudy five dollars Labaz well back three dollars fifty Eight dollars, seven dollars for Bullpoint Access Knowledge, San Diego. Yes. It was uh, went up about six dollars in places and didn't last, exactly. and continued to be backed in. Yep, and, and also in. the other one uh, was Bullpoint. Eleven dollars was bet, and that's well and truly seven and six dollars now. Okay. So uh, mm. nine to eight. Access We've uh, lost any day will do to the later race mark. Uh, what happens in front? Does uh, does Lee Baz try to get out and own it? With Tommy Berry doing his thing in front, or what? What do you think? Um, I guess so. Like it's it's, a, it's up for grabs, isn't it? It's, mm. um, there's nothing. There's nothing. You know, I te technically I have Rudy leading, which seems seems, seems unlikely. Yeah. Um, and excess excess knowledge is. Um, not really. You obviously we ridden quietly at Kimber and um, I wouldn't think that that's a platform for him to lead here either. So Labaz, up from the 1300 of the Group 1, mm. back to the, um, the minor group race and kept fresh and up from the 1500, we're appearing again in the van. Ball point shouldn't be far away, it's freshened up and blinkers back on. Uh, Spider Co to San Diego may use their drawers. But the, the blinkers on with ball point, that's, that's that. That's that sort of half-pregnant thing, isn't it? Wink yeah, is off, yeah. wink is on, whatever that means. 
whatever it means, Dal. It's um, it's it's a race that didn't excite me overly, but I figured that Labaz was. I don't like the fact that it's sort of been 12 months since we've really seen him doing it. Yeah. But I mean, he's, he's, you know, you can sort of weave that case together. I, I think so, and, I, and, that, and that was the worry for me. But I, I'll keep going back to that Melbourne preparation that uh, didn't go right for him, where he got just held up first up. I think yeah. it was D-Dunt, wasn't it, first up. So didn't get the opportunity to race. I think the way that they mapped out the preparation to try to get him second up into the Emirates was wrong anyway. Yeah. And where it really backfired was he wasn't able to have a true test to get him ready for a serious Group 1 race. And then I think whilst he didn't, you know, he was he was thereabouts in the Emirates, I think with the setup he had has gone as best as he possibly could. So it's not as if he was sort of flopping around and saying, oh, he's going to go back and reinvent himself. I think he did as well as he could with the setup he had to go into a pretty serious Group 1 race. And yeah, and then he's gone and resumed in a Group 1 and, um, you know, didn't didn't really get any favours in the race. So this looks a chance for him to to set himself up. Uh, to Labaz, three ball point, who I'm really sick to death of, but he seems to be better at Rose Hill. Mm. And he was on the inside first up at um, Randwick before going south again. Six excess knowledge, Karen, why would you bother? And five malice, who will run any <laughs> price, but uh, presumes off a couple of Rose Hill wins. Look, I, I'm, I'm around the, um, the Babiro race, not for obvious reasons, it's just, you know, it's, it's there, and Rudy, San Diego, and to a lesser extent, Spider Cater do fit in here, but one bet, three units on the Baz. My number's 2365. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a buzz. I think he, he can be a machine when he gets rolling. And uh, I think tomorrow is his day. And it's over to Tommy Berry to hopefully get a ride in front. But it, it is, I know I go on about it. But Sorry, I, I listen to the radio. Continue his hot form. Continue his hot Sorry, form. Alex. Yeah, exactly. See, this is, this is where it gets really frustrating. <laughs> Tommy walks away from the hero of the day. And all I do in the reviews and write about it uh, badly handled in front, badly handled in front, anchor drop, anchor drop, anchor drop. But Tommy does ride, he does ride. Going a little bit better in front, I think, from when... Mm. I think that Robbie Waterhouse article might have yeah. changed things a little bit. Marty. No, not really. I'm Marty. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, it's it's still still the same. Still the same, it's just... Okay. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it's a worry. It can't change, Dale, because mm. he, they've, they have that stable have been at him since he joined. Yeah, yeah to... So if he, hasn't, you know, yeah. if he hasn't, you know, he hasn't changed by now, he hasn't won't change. And then the thing is, the thing is, then you get away with something like uh, on Himalaya Dream the other day, where he has anchor dropped and given the uh, the rest of the field the chance. Right. I think then Michael Hawkes got on and said, "Oh yeah, great ride by Tommy Berry by actually getting, having a rest in the middle." So, <laughs> so what is actually wrong? And we, yeah, exactly. So yeah, maybe we're wrong. Maybe we're not. But um, yeah, anyway, so that's the worry. But if it's smooth ride, I think Labaz gets his good chance. Seven units on it, one unit on Bullpoint, exactly the same as you. Just know what he had, can do and what he did do last preparation. And if he does that, that puts him in anything. And I'm going to have one unit as sort of a half save on Rudy because I think he might bounce back. Okay. I'll well, have he did do it tough on Spurs. He did do, it, uh, did do it tough and he can do that. But he does have that problematical rose or draw where he might be wide as well too. Okay. And that doesn't look nice. Yeah, look, I, I've narrowed it down to those those two. I think they've got a couple of lengths advantage uh, on the rest. So I'll have seven units Labaz and six units Bullpoint. Yeah. Um, I just think it's it's their race to sort of um, so yeah, to take control of, I think. And hopefully they do. Yeah, perfect. Oh, well, I mean, as, as career best goes, their career best has got plenty on the rest of them. Yeah, and I, I was happy enough. Labaz finishing next to... Um, I think Sacred Falls. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's obviously yeah. He, he, he paraded beautifully. He looked like you know the three weeks between runs is ideal too. I think you know yeah yeah. yeah. I mean it's his, it's his, we know we put it this way. We find out tomorrow. The second art record is something that looks as though the stable four for three. Yeah, they've been. It looks it's, like they've been. Well, it looks like they targeted the last time, but unfortunately that. that they, those records, it's the same as what we yeah, with Terra Vista. Those records look great, but unfortunately yeah. when you're playing first grade, yeah. you're not, it's not a stat. It's yeah. actually, you've got to go to a level. Yeah, you know, like, it, right? yeah. But a this, one, this yeah. is a much better thing than yeah. the Group 1 Emirates where yeah. we're going to go a million miles an hour and we've got to be rock hard fit. Exactly. So, yeah, perfect. All right, lovely. Moving to race four. Before we do that, Mark, you are... Um, I'm not sure what you did yesterday, but uh, Wednesday it was bang, winning, bang. Winning, 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 winning. Oh, look at no, yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday was tricky. Wednesday, you had to come out. You had to Jeff hit me in Harding, wasn't it? You've been bash, 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 and you had to come out with the, uh, the last two rounds yeah, knockouts. I, I must have been the only person in the world with, like, walk, 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 walk past? What's, the, what's, the, what's his name? Um, yeah, War something. Uh, well, yeah, was, trained, point by, was trained by Guy Walter, then went to uh, Peter Paul and Mary and ended up with... Um, 
in the esteemed establishment of um, Joe Cleary. <laughs> yeah, a bit of Sapphire Coast form, was it? An hour? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it did. $3. Right. I, had, I had Blake to help me along, so... Um, yeah. So uh, came, I was the came, only person in the world that liked that horse. It um, came out strong anyway on Wednesday. Yes, and then Winona, Team Winona in the last. So uh, that backed up from Wyong the Sunday, where, which was um, Philip. Mm, beautiful. And uh, yesterday was good enough. So uh, coming into Rose Hill tomorrow and a tiny program at Newcastle yeah. um, to see us out and to see us through till uh, the end of the month. Beautiful. First well, of April on Wednesday, uh, on Tuesday. Is there it is. Next okay. Wednesday. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, Wednesday. I don't know. <laughs> When's Tasmania racing? Uh, Sunday. <laughs> oh, we're back at uh, Tassie's on Sunday. Tassie's on Sunday. Okay. I thought. I thought. Oh, here we go. We're in a regular. Anyway, side. so just 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 a heads up. There'll be. Um, I'm I'm away for Easter again. Oh yeah. Because you know, okay. they they think that it's really important to put the championships on the same day as other stuff. <laughs> so. so Oh, so you're not doing a set Easter? Yes, I'm away Easter, Saturday, Easter, Monday, and right. uh, I haven't decided about next Thursday. But right. uh, anyway, tomorrow, Rose Hill and Newcastle looks good, so be on. Beautiful. All right, lovely. Bearded Mark stuff, of course, that'll be online around about the 8.30 mark Saturday morning. Um, and moving to the Emancipation Stakes, 1,500 metres, Catkins dominates $1.85, Mahara 9.50, and Madam Gangster 8.50. Yes, yeah, there's, there's been a little bit of support for Madam Gangster, just in only a, a point. Um, Catkins is a solid, but no real movers, really. Mark? She's come a long way in a short time, Madam Gangster. Mm. Um, and That stable uh, is flying. Yes, she will, she'll, be, she'll be on speed, but any day will do, looks to take it up here. And she finally returned with um, a decent run. Uh, almost, a as well as, it's almost as well as any horse from Dickie's joint's gone in the... Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like the second prep, second prep for Dickie, so any day will do is in the van. Madam Gangster and Catkins looks to get across easily enough. <laughs> yeah, well, she just does, doesn't she? And there's Jamie, you know, H. H. Bowman's on around, so let's get Jamie McDonald. <laughs> let's get Jamie McDonald. And it's replacing Red Gloves, too. Yeah. It's Jamie McDonald on yeah, Red Gloves right. on. It's not Huey off. No, it's, 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 yeah, it's, so we've already had Huey off, we've dealt with that. Red Gloves got on, and oh, no, hang on, here's James. Why yeah. not? And won't he suit that horse as well, too? Um, yeah. Um, I had Hera in the next position, Am and Poor trying to get up on speed from uh, Wide Gate. Speaking about jockey engagements, wouldn't you love to see the rider on it? Oh, fucking drunk. What is going on? <laughs> Anyone? Kathy, Tommy, give us something. Yeah. Nice to be old Gypsy Diamond midfield, Scorpio Queen, Peggy Jean, Mahara back. Mahara back? I suppose so. Um, so, yeah, nothing nothing doing here. I look, one Catkins looks hard to beat. 11 any day will do. I, I don't like finding Kathy, but I honestly loved this horse's first up run, yep. and I'm um, I'm saying it's running well. Mm -hmm. Seven, Madam Gangster, and eight, My Sabeel, who really, my oh, she's a bloody marvel, My Sabeel. She has been a marvel since July last, since yeah. June last year. Yeah. Um, you you know, right, the th plus 300, uh, 300 metres, 21 days. It's sort of it's. I know it's like she's gone 12, 14, yeah. 12, 15. Yeah, I, yeah. But like that run in the equivalent race last spring, the, that. It was a golden pendant or something. Mm, like whatever it is, yeah. The 1400 meter race, that was a super run yep. here. Yep. Um, so I don't want to say that she can't run a race, but um, nevertheless, I marked the long odds. 13 units on Catkins and one and a half units on any day will do. 1, 11, 7, 8. I am 15 units on Catkins. Uh, for those that aren't aware of what we do, um, Catkins we've got going in absolute career best form. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in the show, but. It's, we're sort of likening her to a little bit like Streamer, um, and Streamer was a horse that we all maligned a lot because yeah. she was just flopping around, flopping around, bashing up on mares, and as soon as the acid was put on her, she gave up because there wasn't a completeness to what she could do in her races. Um, for whatever reason, Streamer got a bit older, they get, you know, and you could see the maturity. Toughened in, up. Yeah, toughened up, and you could see the maturity actually in Streamer, not as much in Catkins, but Streamer was then able to basically become an absolute brute. You know, it was like, you know, well, how hard do you want to go? I'll go harder. So, and that's what we found with Catkins this time, is where she'd normally put the white flag up when she was put under double sections of pressure. She's just eating it up and now going three or four lengths better than she's ever done before. All of her runs this time in are better than her equivalents of all time. She's running in career best, best form. Um, people have sort of said the 1500 metres gets to her out of limit. Won't be a problem this time. She's a, she's a, she's a different horse this time. Um, she and she, and she was a bit, she was awful in the betting the other day and she defied that too. You know, like she, you know, maybe Jimmy just got a little bit awful in the betting, letting loss there a little bit too, and 
you know, yeah, she run, she was yeah you know, she raced awesomely you know in a re in another serious race. She's flying. James McDonald got it on. I think she just wins 15 units on Catkins for me. And my other little plays are one on Ammon Paul, who I just said, you know, love her. Love like Huey or Blake or something on that. Um, and the other one is on uh, Mahara. Only one unit as well, too, because I think Mahara probably ran flat last start and will bounce back. But whatever they do, if, if all of these horses put down their best, they can't beat Catkins. Yeah, another guy... I think last time, last couple of preps, she ended up getting to a mile and we were a bit iffy about Catkins, but she, she ran well enough to say that Ooh, she runs it well, especially horses, 15 at Rose Hill. So, 10 units Catkins and 2 on my Seville. Lovely. Perfect. All right, we'll keep pressing on. Um, just a reminder about the Mad Bookie promo. Well, we mentioned it too, we should have, like, Glenn uh, Mounting Yard Mail uh, has been going well, like all of us had a bit of a tough day last week, but uh, has been flying of late. So remember the Mounting Yard Mail and also the race speed profiles. We we got smashed last week too, I think, didn't we? I think pretty much in a lot of the areas, yeah, but yeah. Uh, did nail the slipper. Yeah, so. Pretty important race to get right. Yeah, exactly right. Another Group 1 race, just mark it into the... Uh, into that, we'll get this Group One race right too. But I don't think I don't think there'll be many this prizes. This is the best Rose Hill card out of the three by it's a, it's a good betting card. We've like got we've got angles. Mm. Yeah, you got angles. You got places to go, and even even the odds on favourites seem fair enough, don't they? You know, mm. like like with Catkins a dollar ninety ish. Um, that, that seems, seems generous. That seems fine. And you can you're comfortable taking a dollar ninety that. So I think yeah, race speed profiles, Manning Yard Mail. Remember that, but get both of them sixty nine bucks. Get your rebate with Mad Bookie. Sign up with Mad Booking, get $250 deposit bonus as well. All that, how good's that? Irresistible Pool Star Kingdom Stakes over 1200 metres. Seas, hot or $9, General Leaf Bay, $420, Side Step, $6, and not quite favourite, is Target Insight, $4.80. You got a brothel sponsoring the Star Kingdom. What do you mean? Oh, sorry. Pools and spas. <laughs> 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 oh, Matty, boy. Well done, uh, well done. Target Insight, 460 into $4, um, has been the biggest go. And um, that's it. Mark? Yeah, so a slightly different race here. Um, obviously, Rain Affair just falls into the lead. Mm -hmm. uh, he's up from 1,000 and uh, should be loose enough. Um, Hot Snitzel comes across to track him, he's fresh, back from 1300, hard tester, won't be too far away and I've no idea where decision get time gets to, it's your mate. no trial and 50 years off. Yeah, that's right, and uh, uh, no, you didn't find it, I remember it was one of, the, one of your real good players who just said, right, this wins, at great odds. Oh, decision time, was it, it was 1000 metres. Yeah, it was 1000 metres, was that like, I was second, assuming last time? Ran second to Bell Sprinter. That yeah, no, no, the day, the day that it, it won, won, yeah. won at Randwick, Mark oh, just right. said, no, I've got this, <laughs> bang, wins. Wow. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be doing it yeah, today. It was, no, it was twenties, and that that, uh, that skunk of um, of uh, Snowden's was favourite, short price favourite. Sessions or something yeah. like that. Sessions. 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 Yeah, yeah. Sessions. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Um, right. So, um, what, what's doing? Very hey. sessions. Yeah, I don't know. Don't ask sessions. questions. You don't Dubai? want to know the answer. <laughs> UK. <laughs> as long as it's not near us, we're fine. Yeah, it's sort of like an interesting race because we've got some feed off the 1100 a fortnight mm. back where uh, you know, Ken Seller and, um, oh, and, and, and I'm all the I'm all, all the tour talk. and uh, deep field, deep you know, field. they were, and Jay McDonald just, like, he just, he just yeah. played them off a break. Yeah, exactly, yeah, that's right. So Blake's fine, but he just sort of, at 1200 here, he gets to go back and give them, I don't know, he, he can't sort of just sneak into the race quite yeah. so easily. So he's got a good chance, but uh, I said that two hot snitzel, who this is his last chance, but third up, did it very tough last time. Mm. Was Gassed. on, yeah, was hard up on the inside, first up. This is his race. Six sidestep, um, tried the, the group one double play there, last preparation. Um, he's, interestingly, there are a couple of horses that, uh, Two horses in this race that ran second in their slipper. Decision time ran second in the slipper. Oh. And um, tide step ran second in the slipper. Okay. There is hope. Oh. <laughs> yeah, side step ran second to overreach. Decision time ran second to Crystal Lily. Yes. There you go. Uh, anyway, side step. 
I can't get rid of him. Um, Rose Hill 1200. Seven, target in sight, and five, Hart Tester, who has been fresh, kept fresh off a win, obviously out in the lane at Randwick, but 1200 is his go, uh, and he'll get a perfect run here. Two, six, seven, five, I'm having two units hot since, or two and a half units Hart Tester, and uh, three quarters of a unit on Riker. Riker, yeah, old mate Riker. He'll, he'll put it together one day, and he, yes. Rock hard tracks are essential for him. Uh, I'm target in sight. I just thought it was pretty clear. I was happy to say seven to four. So I'm ten units on target in sight. Uh, I think he's a lot better at 1200 metres than he is 1100 metres. So whilst it was a lot, a lot of things went right for him there. I think the 1200 metres is more suitable for him. We, we, the numbers we've got, we sort of either he's better fresh at a thousand or better with a run under his belt at 1200 metres. So that was that was as good as he's ever gone over 1100 metres. Uh, that'll do me, um, yeah, Blake on for James, either or, oh, I'm mm. happy either of them. Ten units on it, and I'll have one unit on sidestep, because he can sort of do something and get in the right spot, but Nicole, I wish, stayed in Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, uh, he keeps bobbing up here tomorrow, yeah. and I'm like, oh. No, no, leave me yeah, right that was, out. That was interesting, the James McDonald on general life, compared to sidestep, I didn't try it. I thought Sidestep was the better... Well, you've watched their trials. I mean, they both trialled in that... Um, hmm. Didn't General Leaf they go better in that trial? Yeah, but Sidestep was just... Sidestep actually had James on yeah. in one of the trials. Yes, that, that, that and trial... And I thought he done. strangled him, yeah. maybe. So, um, I, I think it's 1,200 metre form is way better than General Life. Mm. So yeah, I'll, he's got um, Richard yeah. form, but... Yeah, but, you know... Respect oh, was the that. certainty beat first up last time? Yeah, that's, um, uh, the, uh, I'm sure that that's factored. That's factored in, in, in when know, it really wasn't was... a certainty beat. Mm. So um, yeah, I found the same horses as, as Mark. Um, five units hot schnitzel. Uh, this Rose Hill 1200. This is its chance. Uh, five units sidestep, and I'll also have a saving five on target in sight. Mm -hmm. um, I like the race. Um, Obviously, taking the stand against General Life, so mm. let's find a winner. The good thing, the thing I like about Target Inside in this one, I'm coming with Zing. You know, like a lot of those ones, hot snitzels. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Yeah, they're scratch, Zing. they're scratching. They're scratching. Zing's on my side. Scratching around. If you go yeah. back to a lot of the winners over the last two weeks, it's been the obvious Zing. positive yeah. last start. Yeah. And we're not finding massive forms going around. No, not yeah. many. Yeah, Zing. Mm. Zing. Zing. the springs of my heart. Well, zing into part two.